Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we're going to cover some troubleshooting tips and things to check when you are trying to enroll a Net Access 123 panel on a site in Max Pro Cloud and the panel will not register. Typically, this is caused by a communication issue between the panel and Max Pro Cloud, and this could be due to several reasons. First, double check the MAC address on the panel and verify that it has been entered correctly into Max Pro Cloud. Be sure to compare the MAC address that is on the board with what is shown when you log into the panel locally. They should be the same and should also match what is in Max Pro Cloud. If this happens to be incorrect in Max Pro Cloud, delete the controller and re add it with the correct MAC to see if that resolves the issue. If the MAC is correct, verify the dip switch settings on the panel. The panel must be set as a gateway panel, so ensure that switch 6 is on. Usually the panel will not be using the default IP address, so also check switch 7 to see if it is off. If 7 is on, this can affect the panel's ability to communicate on the network. If the dip switches need to be changed, be sure to power cycle the panel after changing them and check the registration status in Max Pro Cloud. Next, log into the panel locally and check settings and configuration. Check the panel firmware and ensure it is at least 5.2.64. If it is below this, then the firmware must be upgraded to enable the panel to work with Max Pro Cloud. Firmware can be downloaded from mywebtech.honeywell.com and it is recommended that the panel is operating on the latest firmware. While logged into the panel, also confirm the network settings and make sure that the IP address information is correct, depending on whether the network is configured for DHCP or static IP addressing. Finally, verify that the panel is set for Max Pro Cloud mode and that the ISOM URL is correct. The URL in the panel should be isom.mymaxprocloud.com forward slash isom. If this is incorrect, change and save the URL, then observe to see if the panel registers. Lastly, if all the previously mentioned items have been checked and the panel still will not register, the reason could be related to the local network at the site. Ensure that ports 80 and 443 outbound are not blocked and that the network firewall is not blocking traffic to the ISOM URL that was previously mentioned. One way to check this is to launch a browser on a computer using the same network as the panel and navigate to the ISOM URL. If the page does not load, then you are unable to reach the Max Pro Cloud server and it is likely due to traffic being blocked on the network. It may be necessary to contact the site's IT personnel to investigate further. This concludes the main steps for troubleshooting a Net Access 123 panel failing to register to Max Pro Cloud. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.